Okay. Country. Paul, for example, has a lot of friends. He has affluent friends. He feels like he has to fit in, which he, he might fit in as friendship, but when it comes to finances, he doesn't necessarily fit in. So if we're looking at percentage-wise, and when they go out and what they spend, they can afford it. We can't. But Paul will do it anyway. And then he'll spend the next week or two chasing the bag he's blown, um, which now leaves me in a deficit of love. So there's an adept going on in our household. All right, so we literally just... So she's saying... She's saying, oh, he got friends that he can't keep up with. Right? So my man has surrounded himself with millionaire friends. And she's saying, oh, we can't keep up with that. He's spending extra money. And, you know, he's spending money. And, you know, after he spent money, he grinding hard and hard and hard to get it back. So I feel neglected because he grinding hard and hard and hard. Y'all go listen to the last podcast that I did called Energy Vampires. We don't even know. Now, first. And, and yeah. And y'all ain't even married. What the fuck you mean? Our finances. That man, that's his fucking money. See what I'm saying? How you just going to assert yourself over his finances? That's what he could do what he want to do with his money. Y'all ain't fucking married. It's crazy. There is no man that's out there with multiple accounts, crypto accounts, high interest accounts, that's going to sit down and show his girl his balance. So she doesn't even know the financial situation first. So hang on. Exactly. Man, I already, I, she don't even know what's going on. And you worry about a, a, a motherfucking money. Like, come on, bro. Some of these... This is what you call it. These old, I think they alpha females. This very masculine chick, bro. Red flag. This bitch a red flag from the very beginning. But I just want y'all to watch. She don't even get it. They, they be thinking they alpha females and shit. She don't even get it. They be thinking they know every fucking thing and she don't even get it. This is how I've been able to grow myself exponentially. This is how I've been able to grow so fast and learn so much because I'm surrounded by people who are better than me. And she don't even get it. Right? Toes weird, bro. Weird. Somebody point out in the comments. Lack of support. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. Let's see. I see your point, but what if it's more about his spending habits? Although I'm not saying she is not a problem. What do his spending habits have to do with her? If he can provide for himself, if he can fucking if he's growing and he's doing better every single year what do his spending habits have to do with anything i could see if it was old where he broke and he need money from me and the way he's spending is affecting me she didn't say one time the way he spends money affects our life and i have to pick up the slack she didn't say that she trying to control something that she ain't got no fucking control over that's what it is it, it spending habits ain't got nothing to do with nothing. He could people could spend their money however they choose to if they make it, especially if they're responsible and and and, and they're not struggling and they're not you know they they financial decisions ain't affecting another person. You feel what I'm saying? They money ain't mixed. She just said they money ain't mixed. They money ain't fucking. She don't even know what I got going on, but she got something to say. Nah, bro. A lot of y'all got hoes like this, though. A lot of y'all got women like this. This ain't just black women that's like this, either. A lot of y'all got women that's just like this. And y'all will see. In 2022, there's one haunting question that plagues every single man. How do I make her submit to me? The answer is simple, but most are afraid to learn the truth. Mind games, mixed signals, pullaways. I need space. Let's take a break. It will continue on and on and on, slowly consuming you from the inside out. That's why I've spent years and years making this for you. It kills the nice guy energy. It removes the neediness. It eliminates the beta male tendencies. It unleashes a part of you that's been hidden, maybe even your entire life. In fact, when you have this game at this level, you become what all women desire. You become who they crave you'll be noticed as the guy who gets it, the one girl's adore, the man she will break all of the rules for. You will become the ultimate ladies' man. These secrets in your hand are an easy shortcut to what you want. Nothing is watered down or politically correct. What's revealed may even make you a little uncomfortable. So I have one important question that could shape the rest of your life. Do you have the courage to become the ultimate Ladies, man.